Are you listening? Nurse Pass. Beast Mode. Grind. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Brad, and welcome to another video. I know I've been MIA again, man. I've just been working on a whole lot of stuff behind the scenes. You guys don't even know. As you can see, this is where usually is going to be going down behind the scenes. I got a brand new setup that I've been working on. PCs rocking black and red. Don't know if you can see the details. Don't know if you can see them on the headset. Anyway, um, got a new setup. I've recently relocated, moved into a new house. I've been having a lot of things going on. This is what the setup's going to be looking like and where all the magic's going to be made. Um, I plan on pumping out a lot of content for you guys to finish off 2019 and then to really get serious again in 2020. Um, but that aside, I wanted to get on here and as you can probably tell from the title of the video, um, I am now changing uh, my career path completely again. I'm getting back to what I originally wanted to do and what I first set out to do whenever I graduated from nursing school, and that is CRNA. Um, I've actually, I made a video uh, right here before I got the job, whenever I was still applying and working uh, to you know, do interviews to get into an ICU. Well, now I can say I have officially gotten back into the cardiovascular ICU. I'm taking care of all the same kind of patient populations that I did before I left. Um, you know, all of the fresh post-op, you know, cardiothoracic surgical patient populations that you can be dealing with, all of the fun devices. Uh, I've actually, I'm back, I've been back now for two weeks and uh, I've gotten to take care of a couple of fresh post-op patients and I've also gotten to care for an impella. A patient who had an impella device, which is a, a left ventricular assisted device. Anyway, I, it's been a lot that's been going on in my life. But you might be asking yourself, you know, the last video that we really saw from you, you were trying to, uh, you had just graduated from the Periop Residency Program, uh, about to be working on your own full-fledged as a circulator. And, um, you know, I was, I was very excited for this opportunity to go into the operating room. Uh, I was... You know, as you guys have seen from previous videos, if you've been watching me for a while, you know, after dealing with the loss of my parents and everything, uh, I was really thinking that this was going to be a path that I was going to be able to go down and would find happiness in. Real quick, guys, I just wanted to let you know that I am an affiliate with an amazing company called NRSNG, whose sole mission is to help nursing students be successful in their studies. They have an amazing program called the NRSNG Academy that is absolutely full of all of the nitty gritty need to know information necessary to help you pass nursing school. If you make a purchase using the link in the description below, you would be greatly supporting me and all of the work that I am doing here on this channel. But if you can't, don't worry because they have a ton of free resources available to you as well. Love you guys. Grind on. Um, but. I kind of had something stirring within my soul and uh, it was almost like a switch had flipped for me. Um, I actually talked about it on my podcast with my friend Shane uh, and the title was called The Switch Has Flipped. And it was like something had stirred within my soul where something was calling me back to complete the path that I once originally started out on. Uh, I love the ICU. I love critical care nursing. Um, my favorite part is I, I love the hemodynamic management of the unstable patient. To be able to stabilize them, get them hemodynamically managed, uh, you know, and set them up for success, that's my favorite part. And so just knowing that that's, that's what I love doing and then working in these operating rooms right alongside of these CRNAs, the nurse, these nurse anesthetists every day and seeing what they do and watching them titrate these drips and keep this patient sedated and just, you know, alive essentially during this complete moment of vulnerability. It was just kind of that reaffirmation for me, like, man, this is really what you need to do. So whatever you have to do to make that happen, that's what you need to do. Even if that means going back into the ICU, if that means going in and working nights, doing whatever you have to do to make this dream a reality. It was literally like a switch had flipped and I did a 180. And so now I'm, I'm working on some imagery you'll be seeing it in the coming months. But my, one of my new slogans is BAM. It's by any means. And I really feel that in my heart because whenever the switch had flipped and, and the epiphany came that it's time to get back into critical care so that you can become a CRNA, um, that's how it felt. It was just like by any means. It's like whatever I have to do 
working nights, whatever, you know, I'm gonna make it happen. So fast forward, like I showed you that little clip right there of uh, me before I got the job, I now have secured the job in the cardiovascular ICU. I'm like two weeks in now. Um, I'm picking back up like I never left. You know, there's some things that I'm having to get uh, reacclimated to, of course, to get back in the swing of things, but it feels good. It, it feels right. And um, I'm just very excited. You know, I'm uh, essentially from an experience standpoint, my previous experience definitely helps, but from a schooling standpoint, um, experience wise, I'm starting on ground, ground zero again. So I've still got to get my bachelor's anyway. I'm only an associate's prepared nurse at this point in time. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm now beginning to trek the path toward uh, nurse anesthesia. And I'm super excited, man. I can't wait to look back on this video like five years from now whenever I've accomplished it and be like, dude, you fucking knew you would. I'm excited. So I've got the job now in uh, the ICU. Next step is gonna be just simply to gain the experience and soon I'm gonna begin working toward getting my bachelor's as well. I think I have one or two prerequisites to knock out before I can do that. And then uh, start on the bachelor's. Um, once I've got my proper amount of hours necessary to take the CCRN exam, uh, that's gonna be the next step. I'm gonna get that certification. And after that, I've gotta to work towards the GRE. So I've got uh, a lot to look forward to in the next two years, I would say. A lot to get done, um, but it's super encouraging. You know, I've got a friend, let me give him a shout out real quick, Mr. Mosley. Um, he, he just got accepted into nurse anesthesia school and I used to work with this guy uh, in the CVICU ICU uh, whenever I first started as a new grad. And to, we kind of started in the ICU around the same time, a few months apart. And to see him now having put in the time did what he had to do by any means in order to make it happen and he's done it and now he's gotten into nurse anesthesia school which is so competitive to get into to begin with uh, it's very encouraging it's like man this can be done you can do this now just go do it and you know what i'm sorry i'm gonna keep talking a little bit more if you guys want to click off feel free but i've just had a lot happen you know through working in the operating room i've now gotten an opportunity to network with a lot of crnas and they're all so welcoming and so excited to teach you about the profession and do anything that they can just to lend a hand to help you make that dream your reality. It's super awesome. So having been able to network with some of these guys and girls, you know, now I'm working up in the CVICU and after they've gotten done with a, a heart surgery, they bring them up to me and now I've seen like two or three of these CRNAs and, you know, and so it's funny for them to see me up there and it's like, wow, man, good for you. Like you're actually doing what you said you were going to do. Now you're working in the ICU. You're not down in the OR with us anymore and you're, you're taking the necessary steps to get where you want to be. Um, so it, everything that has happened, backtracking way back to me starting as a new grad in the ICU, me losing my parents and deciding to go into the OR, working with these CRNAs, getting that reaffirmation that that is what I want to do and what I need to do, and now getting back into the ICU and getting that one track mind to obtain that goal by any means. That's the objective. So I'm sorry for this little rambling video. Just wanted to get a little bit out there, let you guys know what's been going on with me. Um, I'm, I'm getting settled in now. The office is coming together. I'm gonna keep working on uh, trying to give you guys a better aesthetic um, presentation. But that aside, we're getting settled into the house. Things are coming along. Content is going to ramp up. I've got a big 2020 planned, a lot of educational material coming to you guys. I got a lot of exciting things in store. Uh, some speaking engagements that are gonna be coming up that more will be released about. Um, appreciate you guys for all of your love and support, man. For all the comments, all the engagement on Instagram, Facebook, all those links are in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's your boy Nurse Bass and I'll catch you. Peace. Genius of my sound, born at the bottom, but now I'm top now. Holy on the mic when I spit, call me father, spirit of the king. I take like my.